Hello, it's me, and we're going to go through the solve of this multi-dodecahedron, which in many ways shares a lot of common threads with the uh, multi-skew, in that it's, it's actually two puzzles in one. So you're going to need to know how to solve a megamines, and you're going to want to know how to solve a master pentultimate. If you can, you can solve this. There's really not much difference to it. Um, so I'm going to assume a megamines um, ability to solve. If you don't know how to do that, I am going to go through this at the same time. But I did want to go over just the algorithms of how to do a master uh, pentultimate just to bear that in mind. Now, here's the good news. Once you've solved the inner megaminx, and as you can see, there's your centers, there's a pink one, with a green on top, different color scheme, but centers, you got your edges, you got your corners, and uh, bear in mind that when you move them, if you move the top portion here, that's going to be like doing this move over here. And you have to get used to that, that even though you're slicing through this window, you're only moving the top part of your Megaminx when you move the top part of your Master Pentultimate. If you can get used to that, it makes it easier. Now there's only three sets of algorithms that you need to know. And when you do any Master Pentultimate algorithm, you will not mess up your Megaminx center. Uh, and uh, it's kind of a sequential sort of an algorithm. I, I went through it when I showed how to do the Master Pentultimate, but just to go through it again. The first algorithm that's going to be important after you solve the Megaminx is how to uh, make these centers move, how to exchange these centers. And you're always going to do variations of down, down, up, up. So the first algorithm, which will swap centers but not change these Megaminx, mm -hmm. is it'll swap these two and these two, just like that. And the way that works is quite simply, down, down, up, up. It did a whole bunch of things to other things, but don't worry about that. And what that did is it did swap these two, and it also swapped these two. All the other centers stayed exactly the same. So these two and these two. And it did not change any of these Megaminx uh, uh, centers, nor did it change any other centers of the Master Pentultimate. To get it back, we'll just go down, down, up, and up. Couldn't be more simple. The other algorithm to bear in mind is these corners. And what this is going to do is it's going to swap these two corners, and it's going to swap these two corners at the same time. So holding this in front of us, these two tips will um, swap. And if you go down to here, these two tips will swap. In terms of orientation, and that's going to be important, whatever color is facing you here will be the color facing you here. Whatever color is facing you here will uh, be the color facing you here. So you have to bear that in mind. And in terms of these two swaps, this color will end up here, and this color will end up here. So if you can imagine these two will come to the center like that. So this will come here, and this will come here. And what this algorithm is, again, it's very simple. It's another down, down, up, up, but you do it twice. Once, swap centers. Twice, we'll swap these guys. And that's, instead of down, down, what we say, instead of down, down, up, up, we go down, 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 up, 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 and you do that three times. So that was once, here's twice, down, 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 up, 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 that's two times, and again, down, 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 up, 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 up. Okay, that's three times, and sure enough, it swapped these two, and it swapped these two, it did nothing to anything else. So once again, to get it into muscle memory, so it's not down, down, up, up, it's down, 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 up, 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 up. So we go down, 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 up, 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 that's once, down, 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 up, 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 that's twice, and down, 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 up, 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 up. That's three times. Okay, now, to 
to, to uh, exchange these guys. Now, I showed how I derived that in my Master Pentultimate, which I did it really based on the Master Skew. But I'm not going to get into that now. just going to quickly show the algorithms. To do these edge exchanges, it's going to be a three cycle where this will come here, this will go here, and this will go here. Now, bear in mind, you could do this to here, this to here, this to here. The way you keep track of it is whatever is facing here, whichever one pulls up, is going to be the one that's going to exchange. So this to here, this to here, and this to here, or this to here, this to here, and this to here. In terms of the positioning, this green will slide to here. This yellow, so this color will end up here, this color will end up here, and this will end up here. So that's how that's going to work. So if we were to do it this way, we're going to go up and just do down down, up, and then back with a slice, and then down, up, up, which reverses it. And so you'll see, now don't worry what it did with these guys, but this went over to here, this green and blue slid over here, and this went over to here. So once again, we'll do it again. This will come to here, this will go to here, this will go here. We've got down, 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 up and then oh careful there you go up down up and up so now one more as you can see this will come to here this green and blue will go here this green and yellow will go here and this white and yellow will go here and it's down down down, up, and then up, and down, up, and up. Now, I want to point something out. It doesn't have to be back here. You could do the same thing with this. It doesn't really matter. So this can go up to here. This will go here. This will go here, and this will go here. That's just going to be a matter of instead of bringing this down, you can go up, and then down, down, up, and then back and down, up, up, and that will make that exchange. I could show it, so if we were to go up, down, down, up, and then down, down, up, up. And indeed, that's what happened. This went to here, this went to here, this went to here. So you can see there's some variability with this. The last algorithm is moving these guys around. And the way this is gonna work, is holding it over here. Well, you can hold it here too. This will go to here, this will go to here, and this will go to here. That's its most elemental form. But bear in mind, anything in this orbit that is facing the same direction, it could be this one, or this one, or this one, anything in this layer can be moved up to here. So the way this will work is this will go up, and now you're gonna go down, down, you're gonna go down, 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 up, up. Instead of just down, down, up, up, it's down, 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 up, up. And here's, let me show you what that means. So don't mix those algorithms up. So this will go up. Instead of going down, it'll go up. And you'll go down, 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 up, up. And then this will go back down and reverse it. Down, down, up, 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 up. And that will be a pure three cycle. Nothing else is affected, but this went to here, this went to here, and this went to here. Now again, um, you could move this one in. Instead of going just up, you go up, up. Uh, let's say you wanted to move it down from here, you can. Instead of just doing one up, like this, do another one, like that. And you can do three, four, as many as you want, and if I continue with the down, 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 up, up, and then move this back down, you're gonna find that I didn't exchange this. This went to here, this went to here, and this went to here. I can even do three, and it'll be all the way down there. Now that's just the algorithms. The true challenge of this puzzle is not remembering those algorithms. That's pretty easy. The true challenge is how to position the pieces to get them in the configurations that you need to do it, and to remember what you did to get the deconstruction back to you know reconstitute what you, um, what you put uh, to reconstitute the original position. So
So sometimes you have to move the pieces around to get it set up in the position to do the three cycle, and then you have to remember what you did to get it back. So that's what we're gonna try, and we're gonna go ahead and scramble this up and see what we can do.